take your shirt off or I won't defuse it. How do you know it's not off? I want a picture right now. <laughs> so, you're here because you want to learn to edit like Fitz and Soviet Wonder. Oh or maybe even like me. Uh, just kidding, you've never heard of me. That's alright. Alright, so to do this you'll need a decent computer and a nice copy of Premiere Pro. If you use another editing software like Final Cut, it's more or less the same. Also, stick around to the end for some bonus tips and tricks to give your content that competitive edge above everyone else's. But anyways, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. We're going to start off with the easier of the two options, which is just a basic pop-in. All you got to do is drag your clips onto your timeline, and then find the point where you want to begin your subtitles. Now you want to press the letter T on your keyboard, then just drag a box over your frame, and then start typing either word for word or all at once. It's your choice. Now press this and this to get your text nice and central. Now you have to press V on your keyboard to activate the cursor. Move your center point to the exact like middle of your text box by holding control and dragging it to the middle until it locks in. Now hold control and drag your text box to wherever you want it on your screen. Oh, and not to forget, find a font that suits you. I use this Barbieri font which you can find on adobefonts.com and if you look in the description right now you'll find a link to a website called The Font where you can get all these fonts for free to use in Premiere Pro, Microsoft Word, whatever, you name it, all for free. Whoa, go press the Not sponsored. For the sake of the video I'm going to go word for word to show you guys how I do it but normally I'd switch back and forth with the methods depending on what's being said. Sorry, I'm really bad at reading scripts. So now we got the text written out, and to be fair, it looks decent as it is, but we want to give it some character, you know, a little bit of personality. We're going to add some keyframes to give it that nice pop-in effect, as you see here. So to do this, click on your text in the timeline and go to where it starts. Then on the left panel, you should see the effect control tab, and you want to press this little clock icon thing on this option, not vector motion because bad. This will create your first keyframe while your size is at 100. Maybe more, maybe less. It depends on the volume of your clip, really. Because if I start shouting, I'm going to want my You then want to go a handful of frames forward using the arrow keys. For 60 FPS footage, I'd recommend maybe 5 to 8 and for 30, just half whatever you choose for 60. Am I making sense? But anyway, when you've gone forward, increase the size by selecting the blue number for scale and type in 125. Go a couple more frames forward and reduce that size to 115. And then just admire what you've created. Just kidding, keep going. Select your text in the timeline, then press Ctrl C on your keyboard. Go to the start of the next word in the sentence and press Ctrl V. Edit the new text you just copied and either replace the previous word with the new one or just add it in. Either works. Now on your final text layer, make a keyframe near the end of the layer by pressing this diamond shape a few frames before the end. Then go to the very end and reduce its size to around 50 for that smooth transition out. You can now admire your brand new subtitles. No. <laughs> but what's that? You're ready to go up a level and mask that text over characters in game? Or even make words and phrases follow bullets or other objects? Well you're still in the right place. This sounds scary, but trust me, you do this one time and you've nailed it for life. Mm. All you have to do is copy and paste one of the subtitle texts you made earlier at another point in your timeline. Move your transition keyframes if you need to, then you're free to resize your clip. Now that everything's in place, select the start of your text in the timeline and just go to the stopwatch icon thing again under the text section. But this time, choose position and scale. On the same frame, move the text over the character or object. I recommend using the selection box as an outline to make sure you position it right every frame. Press V on your keyboard and now every 2 or 3 frames just drag the text box to wherever you need it. Keep going till the whole layer is keyframed. You might be done as it is now but chances are you probably have to correct the size of the text. You could select the text and move this slider or say the character is moving towards you. You could find a point in the timeline where they are moving and increase the scale till you're satisfied. Make sure to adjust the end keyframes though, so it doesn't randomly get bigger or smaller towards the end. Same rules apply to if you're masking text to bullets, just go frame by frame. Uh, watch this. Right, so now I'm going to let you in on the trade secret to make your content way better than anyone else's out there. Ah, this is quaking. Ah, but before I show you guys, this is a great time to tell you that only 33 people at the time of recording are subscribed. Can you believe that? Hello, Help a brother out and press that red button. I'm going to introduce you to an effect that you probably see everywhere, and that's this motion sway to make your text look more alive. I see this effect so often, but I've tried looking for it on YouTube and I just can't find it, so you're welcome. 
If you look in the description, there will be a link to a preset file called Yarl's Handheld Camera Preset. Download it and right click Presets in Premiere Pro, then import this file and voila, easy as that. You can now drag and drop these effects onto footage, text or whatever you want to to give it a nice subtle movement. No, please, don't all thank me at once. One last bonus trick, as, as you can see, this text story. appears as my good friend Watson <laughs> is talking. I could have just made a few layers of text to make this possible, but there's an easier way of doing this, and in my opinion, it looks way better. So, you have your text already on the timeline, and you want to get to the point where you or a character is saying something. Go one frame just before they speak, and press this source text keyframe. This basically saves that text at a specific point, this will all make sense soon. Then go one more frame ahead and change the text. As you can see, the change takes place without stupid amounts of layers all stacked on top of each other. Finish off your speech and transition out your text, and just like that, you're like done. <laughs> <laughs> just before I go guys, if this video gets 25 likes, ambitious, I know, I'll make another video like this and give you guys more tips and tricks to make your gaming videos look even more professional. Just remember to turn my bell on for, for, for my for my channel, of course, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. There he is, bitch. There he is.